I wanted to be an independent woman, a woman who could pay for her bills, a woman who could run her own life, and I became that woman. Attitude is everything. When you get into a hotel room, you lock the door, and you know there is a secrecy, there is a luxury, there is fantasy. There is comfort. There is reassurance. I travel light. I think the most important thing is to be in a good mood and enjoy life, wherever you are. I always wanted to be a femme fatale. Even when I was a young girl, I never really wanted to be a girl. I wanted to be a woman. Clarity is the most important thing. I can compare clarity to pruning in gardening. You know, you need to be clear. If you are not clear, nothing is going to happen. You have to be clear. Then you have to be confident about your vision. And after that, you just have to put a lot of work in. When you come to a hotel room, you want it to be grand, functional and beautiful. But you don't want things that are not useful. Sometimes you go to hotels and there are all these frames and pictures of people you don't know, and you end up hiding everything in the drawer, and then housekeeping come and put it out again. There's design, and there's art. Good design is total harmony. There's no better designer than nature, if you look at a branch or a leaf, it's perfect. It's all function. Art is different. It's about emotion. It's about suffering and beauty, but mostly suffering. I get ideas about what's essential when packing my suitcase. I wanted to be an empowered woman, and I became an empowered woman. And now I want to empower every woman. And I do it through my clothes, I do it through my words, I do it through my money, I do it through everything. If you like trekking, go to the Himalayas or Peru. I love those kinds of trips. But it all depends on your own life and what you like and what you expect. Do I believe in reincarnation? Well, let's say that I believe in karma. I think you make your own karma. When I was young, I lived like an old woman, and when I got old, I had to live like a young person. I travel in so many different ways. I travel high, I rough it, it all depends on who I travel with. The most important relationship you have in life is the one you have with yourself. And then after that, I'd say once you have that, it may be hard work, but you can actually design your life. I design for the woman who loves being a woman. Go to a place where you're not going to be stressed, because a honeymoon itself can be a stressful thing. I was terrified the first time that I had a big problem in my business. I was obviously terrified when they diagnosed me with cancer in 1994. I was terrified when my son used to drive too fast. But I do believe in the fact that fear is not an option, so I always try to face it and not be afraid. All I can tell you is that I've never met a woman who is not strong, but sometimes they don't let it out. Then there's a tragedy, and then all of a sudden that strength comes. My message is let the strength come out before the tragedy. I can honestly say that I understand women very well. If you understand yourself, you understand women, because, in the end, all women are the same. Fashion can be this mysterious thing that you can't explain. I never like to think that I design for a particular person. I design for the woman I wanted to be, the woman I used to be, and, to some degree, the woman I'm still a little piece of. 
A challenging economy is always good for design. It unites necessity and functionality. You are forced to be creative with poor materials. My mother said that we're so lucky to be women. It's not that men are weak. Men are men. We're two completely different animals. I was lucky because I got so successful so early, and when you get successful early, then you can afford to be a little bit humble. What's important to me is to share, and being inspired, and inspiring. I never knew what I wanted to do, but I knew the kind of woman I wanted to be. Diane von Furstenberg, born Diane Simone Michelle Halfen, the 31st of December 1946 in Brussels, Belgium, to Jewish parents. Her father, Bessarabian-born Leon Lipa Halfen, migrated to Belgium in 1929 from Chisinau, Kingdom of Romania now Moldova and later sought refuge from the Nazis in Switzerland. Her mother was Greek-born Lilian Namias, from Thessaloniki, a Holocaust survivor, who was initially captured by the Nazis while she was a member of the resistance during World War II. Eighteen months before Furstenberg was born, her mother was a prisoner at Auschwitz concentration camp. Furstenberg has spoken broadly about her mother's influence in her life, crediting her with teaching her that, fear is not an option. Furstenberg attended a boarding school in Oxfordshire. She studied at Madrid University before transferring to the University of Geneva to study economics. She then moved to Paris and worked as an assistant to fashion photographer's agent Albert Koski. She left Paris for Italy to apprentice to the textile manufacturer Angelo Ferretti in his factory, where she learned about cut, color and fabric. It was here that she designed and produced her first silk jersey dresses. Diane von Furstenberg is a Belgian fashion designer best known for her wrap dress. She initially rose to prominence in 1969 when she married into the German princely house of Furstenberg, as the wife of Prince Egan von Furstenberg. Following their separation in 1972 and divorce in 1983, she has continued to use his family name. Her fashion company, Diane von Furstenberg DVF, is available in over 70 countries and 45 freestanding shops worldwide, with the company's headquarters and flagship boutique located in Manhattan's Meatpacking District. She is the past chairwoman of the Council of Fashion Designers of America CFDA, a position she held from 2006 to 2019, in 2014 was listed as the 68th most powerful woman in the world by Forbes, and in 2015 was included in the Time 100, as an icon, by Time magazine. In 2016, she was awarded an honorary doctorate from the New School. In 2019, she was inducted into the National Women's Hall of Fame.